Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. I'm Aletta and today we are going on a tour of our 30 day island that we completed in the month of February. I decided to dream of this on my other island so that I can get the experience that y'all are gonna get if you decide to come and visit. And if you've already visited, you might notice I did change the time here since I decided to visit this way. I thought it was a bit too dark so I went ahead and changed the dream address to be a little bit later in the day. And I also dropped a couple more presents around the island. I hope that's okay with y'all. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna go explore the island. If you don't know, this island is based off of different fairy tales. So we got like Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood, etc. So here is the map and I will put the dream address up on the screen if you'd like to follow along during the video. If not, that's all right. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this looks, especially since we only did it in a month. We got Sterling, Ioni, Grizzly, Panchetti, Drago, Gruff, Poncho, Sylvia, Ruby, and Phil. And they all correspond to a different build here on the island, to a different fairy tale. And yeah, so let's start looking around the island. But yeah, I'm gonna first go towards the entrance. Uh, it's so cool being here in a dream. Yes, I did drop some presents for y'all up here. These should all be closed and you won't need it, but I also dropped a ladder in a vaulting pole and then also a wand if you wanna wear your own outfits here. Okay, so we got our little welcome to Briar Rose sign right here. And then you can see we got cherry blossoms here since we are on April 5th, I believe, is the day we put the address up. And if you keep going left instead of up to resident services, you'll see we have little red riding hood here and a couple presents here as well. I used this little basket as the one she carries in a little wagon. And then that leads here to grandma's house, which is actually my house. And we will look at that at the end in case you don't want to see that. But I dropped these right next to her so that you can be a Red Riding Hood if you would like to. <laughs> You've got a little basket. And the beaches are really simple so you don't really have to look at them. I just kind of put some random flowers on them. Hi Sterling. Hey, you're new. Welcome to Briar Rose. I recommend a quick sprint around the island to get a lay of the land. Now right here to the left, I actually really love this, is... The girl with the red dancing shoes, I think it's called. But yeah, that's why we have this little maypole here and a little gyroid playing the organ. I think it's really cute. And then if we keep going back this way, you can see we have a little mom flower field right here. And this is supposed to lead into our Tinkerbell build over here. So I actually did make a couple of wand outfits myself. So I'm going to change into my fairy one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, these little wheat things from Turkey Day are supposed to be the thistles, if you've ever seen Tinkerbell. And then the peninsula here is a little Peter Pan slash Tinkerbell and the Pirate Fairy build. Because we got a couple of pirate items from Gullivar. Go up here, be the lookout. And I believe these presents on the beach right here are little pirate items, if you want to do that. Whoa, I'm, up, I'm over there, that's weird. Yeah, this is our little Tinkerbell spot, so that's why there's lots of glowing moss to make it look more magical. I'm gonna go up this vine here. We got the talent choosing ceremony here from the first Tinkerbell movie. So we got Garden Fairy, Winter Fairy, Light Fairy, Animal Fairy, Tinker Fairy, and then this is supposed to be Water Fairy, and we got lots of gyroids, or not gyroids, <laughs> star fragments around because I was lucky enough to get two of the star fragment islands on the boat tours. Not lucky enough to get some of the DIYs I wanted, but you know, still pretty cool. Oh, I missed a, a flower right here. Um, and then this is the little green Tinkerbell dress if you want to put that on. And then if you were to head right from resident services here, this is where the Ables and Nook's Cranny is. So Ables over here is the Brave Little Tailor, I think it is. And I kind of explain it during the build that we do, but yeah, he, he has an encounter with some giants, which is why we put this statue here. And there's also like some flies and a unicorn and a little boar. So yeah, we referenced that over here. I thought that was good to tie into the tailors. And then if you keep going to the right here is Nook's Cranny and this is Hansel and Gretel. 
So these are actually not Hansel and Gretel. These are new victims, you could say. Um, yeah, we try to make everything look like it would be edible. We even got the little cookie cards, and we used a lot of the bunny day stuff. And if you keep going to the right here, it will go into the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, which I actually love this. We even got a little bunny here, and of course his little clock. And I did give some of them wreaths, but the inside of their houses will be their normal houses since we weren't allowed to use any DLC things. But yeah, oh, there I am, hello. Once upon a dream, this is so meta. Well, yeah, you can come over here, sit at the tea party. Yeah, I like it quite a lot. Lots of bunny day stuff. We even got a little waterfall right here. You can jump across if you would like. And this goes kind of by our Sleeping Beauty build. So we got the little owl with the hat, you know, when um, the owl steals the prince's clothes. <laughs> and then we got some rams over here to represent the three Billy Goats gruff. So this is supposed to be a toll bridge, and it's also a toll bridge because up here we got a Red High Riding Hood build. Hi, Sylvia. It's not every whatever it is that you meet a new face. Oh, and if you already went to the dream address before, I did get an amiibo to go in the campsite because I forgot to do that the first time. Yeah, this is our Robin Hood build. We got a little bit of cash right here and the campsite, of course. And then up here we got... Her archery spot, which I love, which I feel like I should change my clothes now. I'm going to our snow white clothes. Yeah, we got our shooting practice right here. I really like it. I also got this item that was so expensive. And if you go this way, there is a little picnic with some dwarves as well as more down here because this is Snow White's house. Well, really the seven dwarves house. And they're all hanging around here at Grizzly's place. Lots of red roses, of course. And then I didn't get apples in this island since I didn't do any local play. So this little crumploid represents an apple since it's kind of, you know, crusty like that. <laughs> but I do want to go back this way. You can see our little details over here. And if you go back this way, this is Phil's house. He is kind of our Robin Hood villager as well as our ugly duckling villager because right here is the secret beach and I used the duck decoys and the rubber ducks here to represent the ugly duckling. So we made one purple like Phil up there to represent the ugly duckling and here I also dropped one of these to feed the ducks if you would like. But yeah, anyway, let's go up this little spot here. Oh, we're Red Riding Hood again. I'm gonna go up these stairs, and you can see we have a little sword down there. And then we have Maleficent. Dun dun dun. So, yeah, we use fossils to make a dragon, which is really cool. And then this is supposed to be the raven here. And then back here is Sterling's house, because he is protecting our Sleeping Beauty. Very nice. And then here is her pink and blue dresses that she changes into, you know. I think I'll do the blue one. Also got the spindle, of course. We had to do the spindle. And then the little clackeroid up there is supposed to be like a gargoyle since it's gray. Black and gray. I don't know. I really love this build, especially the dragon. I think it's so cool. And of course we used purples and greens and blacks to represent Maleficent. And then, yeah, these are to represent the fire, but Maleficent's fire breath is actually green, so I put some glowing moss there. I think I'll go back this way towards Snow White's house. And if you go across this bridge here, it goes into Cinderella's place. So you can see, of course, the pumpkin carriage we had to include with all her little mice horses. And up here, it kind of ties into her as well because of the pumpkins, but also is, this is also, um, Jack in the Beanstalk. But yeah, we didn't get the giant fine recipe, um, but we do have a harp. And this is supposed to be the golden egg back here, this exercise ball. And then I just put some statues around, it just reminds me of Jack in the Beanstalk, you know. And then this also ties into the Snow White build. Back here we got some mining carts for the dwarves, you know, they're mining into the mountain here. You can kind of see it. 
And of course we got some golden roses to represent the golden egg as well from Jack and the Beanstalk. But anyways, yes, we got our Cinderella build back here, and I actually love this build so much. We got the wedding slippers to represent her glass slippers. And then over here, I just gave her a little seating spot, which is pretty cute. I used lots of pinks and blues for her. And then if you go to the right here, this is the little fountain and the bench that she cries at, you know, right before she meets the fairy godmother. But yeah, I added lots of bird details as well on this bench too. I think it's pretty cute. And then this is supposed to represent the actual horse since the mice get turned into horses over here. And then if we go down this little incline here, it leads into our three little pigs house here. This is one of the last builds we did, so it's kind of bare bones, but I think it gets the point across. We got our house build of hay, and then house build of wood, and then this one is supposed to be the house build of bricks. We actually got a pig villager at the last minute, so that was pretty cool. What is this? I love how I don't even remember. Oh, the fairy tale dress, cute. Nice. And then this leads into the tea party. Oh, which reminds me, this is, oh gosh. <laughs> this is Hansel and Gretel over here. Um, yep, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah, that's why we have the little wolf statue over here. I thought that was pretty cute. And right here, there's actually an ocarina if you would like to grab that. But yeah, this goes into our Princess and the Frog build. We made it look very magical, very swampy. There's all the wedding items because this is, ooh, a pan flute. The frog wedding right before they, you know, turn back into people. But I love, love, love this build. I think it's so cute. And it looks so pretty with the cherry blossoms as well. So, yeah, that's the build right here. We also put some bamboo over here as well. And then over here, this isn't anything in particular. I just kind of decorated these rocks a tiny bit. We got some flamingos and then the mossy cave. Um, I didn't know where else to put it because we got that, or I made that pretty late, late in to the island. But yeah. This is probably a top three builds with the dragon that you've already seen. And then here it goes back into the Tinkerbell build. But we are going to continue down this path. And you'll see there is a tower right here and also a hidden, <laughs> a hidden grave. Um, this is supposed to represent Rapunzel. I did mean to put a green gyroid up there to represent Pascal, but I forgot. I'm sorry about that. And then, yeah, hidden over here is a little picnic. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Nothing in particular over here. And then you can see we have some bamboo this way. And that's because if you went to the right here at the airport, you would have gone into our Milan build, which is probably the other one that's in my top three. Um, I got a little fan here for y'all. <laughs> but... Yeah, we got this beautiful, beautiful bridge leading to Draco's house. We actually got the dragon in the campsite. And of course we got the lucky cricket right here. And we got some pinks for the cherry blossoms. This is like when she's doing the reflection song in the movie. So that's what this bridge is. And if you go up here, we have Stonehenge. And I also put a little orchid mantis there as well as more bamboo details. I also stunted some bamboo over here and used, we used this tree glitch trick three times on the island. I think it's really cute. And then if you go down this way, this is one of the only two ways besides right here that you can get into this maze here. And obviously this is our Alice in Wonderland build. So here we got our spray cans since we didn't get the paint cans of them spraying the white roses red and we made these little cards here to represent the card soldiers and I think that's pretty cool I put these in the custom designs if you want to use them I mean I'm sure other people have made better ones but you know they're there if you want them another spray can and yeah we use the flamingos because she uses those for some of her games a little die right there some statues that you would you know usually see in a maze like this and of course Alice's dress right there. And then Rossetti and the gnome right there are playing cards. I thought that was fun. 
And we got the bunny's timer dropped right here. Not timer, clock, sorry, sorry, it's not a timer. And then of course it is the Queen of Hearts castle right here. So we use the pink castle. I honestly love it so much. Anyway, if you go out this way, it goes to this cute little pergola. We got a little goldfish over here with the pagoda, if you went this way from Drago's house. And we got the cute little pie. And yeah, there's a little bridge for y'all, so it's easy to get over here. And this is just a little walkway, but then if you go right here, this is our Frau Hole build with the well and the bread and, you know, the bedding that she shakes out. Pretty cool. And we, of course, put some horses around. It just makes sense in this time. And I saw a grizzly over here. Where'd you go, bud? What do we have here? You a visitor? Well, you just make yourself right at home, girl. And then I did notice I didn't drop anything over here or didn't decorate the pier. So I just decided to give y'all some more clothes options over here just for some fun. I thought that would be okay. And yeah, the again, the beaches are very minimally decorated, but we got some bottles over here, the little cancer table, pretty cute. But yeah, right above the Frau Hole build is Poncho's house. Yeah, he's our... Goldilocks and the three bears builds. We got our porridge over here and then the three different chairs. Of course, the little oven and just a little spot for them to hang out together. They're all sitting over here. And then there's a little path going up right here through the trees because uh, they would have to be in the woods over here, you know. Oh, and yes, the bears love honey, so we got a honey bee there. This just goes into kind of a little neighborhood. Right here is Sylvia's house. She is our Rumpelstiltskin um, representative here. We got the spindle where they spin straw into gold. So that's why the spindle's over here. And then, of course, her little baby. And I put some toys around for the baby right here. This little push cart. And this rocking horse. And over here is just a little market where you'd come and buy some bread or some, you know wheat and sugar to make things and then right here is gruff's house he is for our little toll bridge over there but i also put a stable back here where all the horses come and chill you know eat some hay revamp and then of course we just got a well and a windmill it just had to be done and then there's also a wheat field here because Rumpelstiltskin, you know, that's the miller's daughter, so they have to have a wheat field somewhere. So it's back here, and then that goes up into the Maleficent build right there. But for y'all that can't go on dream tours here, I will show you the rest of the beach that we did. So we got some random stuff like this bike, and then I put the three shell dresses that we got. This middle one was from Pascal over here thought that'd be cute and then a little goldfish just because those are adorable and our little shell fountain so yeah that's what's over here i was gonna do a big little mermaid build outside but i decided to do that in the house so we are going to head towards the house and i'll show y'all the inside of that which i did that off camera actually since i was running out of time oh yes but here's our pig villager we got pincetti Pancetti, actually, I looked it up. And who might you be? I haven't seen you here before. Are you a stranger here? Ah, it doesn't really matter since this is a dream. Everything is a bit strange now, isn't it? Yes, we can go back this way. And if you wanted to get back to that toll bridge, you could go this way as well, past all these hyacinths. But we'll be going straight to the house over here. You could actually jump across here on these lily pads. What's happening? What's happening? We haven't said hi to you, Drago. Herm, what's going on now? Have we met? More importantly, where's my pillow? Priorities, priorities. Yes, here we are back at the airport. And of course, the house is right over here. The Red Riding Hood house. Alright, let's go in the house. And this is the main reason I changed the time, because I went to go in here and I couldn't really see anything, since it was so dark outside. Yes, the first room, of course, represents um, Little Red Riding Hood. So here we got the grandma's bed where the wolf is, her little basket, little rocking chair. And then how cute is this thing on the wall? Um, it literally is Red Riding Hood right there. And then we also got, we got mom's art over there, her little 
embroidery and that is also <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood so I thought that would be cute in here. Yeah, it's a pretty big room so we just put some older furniture in here, some pie over there and I think it's pretty cute. And then to the left here will be Rapunzel's room. So this is Pascal right here, this little gyroid. And we got some art on the walls because she loves to paint. We also got a little painting thing on that ranch table for her. Got her tiara that she finds. And of course some lanterns in here, which these little sun ones come with the game if you don't know, if you customize it. So I thought that was kind of cute. And of course we used the sunflower wallpaper since she like subconsciously paints the little suns around. I thought that was pretty fitting. And yeah, pretty cluttered in here. I mean, she spends her whole life in there, you know, candle making, reading books. So I thought this was cute and we gave her the cute furniture since I had a lot of it. I wanted to put it to use. And then y'all will never guess whose room is to the right over here. Ta-da! We got our frozen room. So I did want to do a frozen castle, but I did not have time to go and get all the DIY recipes from the snowmen. We were able to get the bed recipe and I got this chair because Eric moved out and he has the frozen furniture. So I thought that was kind of cute. I don't know why this bell is in here. It's just kind of a space filler. Yeah, we got, of course, the frozen stuff, the snowy wallpaper the snowflake umbrella and then I put some candy on this table like the one that Anna sings in the first movie and she grabs some off of there that's kind of the Wreck-It Ralph candy if you didn't know. But yeah pretty simple room here just a bedroom and then back here might be my favorite room in the house I actually made a little outfit for this. So this is our Pinocchio room so we got Jiminy Cricket here and the goldfish and right at the last second we got this lucky cat from Gulliver in the mail which was really cool. I was like oh my gosh it's perfect because he has a black cat. I think it's actually a tuxedo cat. And then over here he has his clock wall of course, um, Geppetto. And yeah there is Pinocchio right there. The tacoid is what I'm saying is Pinocchio. It just looks like him. You know it's made out of wood. And yeah, we just got some details in here, like the clocks and some antique furniture. And of course, a workbench. And he's got his little bed here. Um, what would have made this really cute is if I somehow got a reference to the blue fairy. But yeah, I think it's cool that we have the goldfish and the cat and Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio. So I think, yeah, this is my favorite room probably. And then upstairs, um give you a minute to guess but it's kind of obvious with this rose here is our beauty and the beast room we've got um this gyroid playing the piano for them we got mrs potts and chip i used the wedding wallpaper in here in the palace flooring i thought that was kind of fitting so yeah we got cogsworth here as the owl clock and lumiere as this wedding candle set i wasn't able to get the candelabra unfortunately it would have been cool but yeah i'm really glad we got the display case here i wasn't sure what i was going to use it for but it's kind of perfect for the rose um it would be more perfect if it was like rounded but you know and then we got an old clock that just fits it i thought and then oh this is the little dog that's the ottoman and yeah pretty cute room up here i i think so now all we have left is the basement all right so this is our little mermaid build i wanted to do this on the beaches but you know i thought we could do it downstairs it'd be cute so down here we got the shell recipes that i was able to get we got the arch and two partitions and then i only made one of the fountains so that one's outside but here we got the little fish globe so i thought that would be flounder here and then we got the crab in this thing right here and that's supposed to be Sebastian from the movie. Um, one of y'all suggested that and I was like, ooh, that's perfect because I totally forgot he's a crab in the movie. I put some seafood soup right there and some dishes to be the, the dingle hopper. I'm pretty sure is what she calls the fork. And we did get the Pisces lamp down here. Yeah, this is kind of just, oh yes, and I put the bird up there even though I didn't color it at Greece and Cyrus's kind of to represent 
scuttle um, just a little bit you know and I did have this flooring here but the only one flooring I had for this wall that was kind of beach related is this sandy one so I thought I put it here like this is where she comes out of the rock you know and the rest I did the rainy hydrangeas wallpaper which is I think it's called misty gardens it's my favorite one we got the little ship in the bottle there and yeah just little random things here and there oh and this is supposed to be the Eric statue this really tall one to the left Oh, in our mermaid dresser. <laughs> it's kind of dark down here, but you know, it's underwater. So let's go outside. So yeah, that is our island Briar Rose. Well, I hope that y'all like Briar Rose. I honestly could make an island like this forever for months and months, so it's probably good. I did it for a 30 day challenge. Um, I just love fairy tales. Hi, Panchetti. <laughs> anyway. I love fairy tales and honestly this this island was so fun not just doing a fairy core island which was my original idea but doing builds of different fairy tales so especially with y'all's feedback I think without your ideas it would have been a lot more difficult for me so thank y'all again so so much let me know which one is your favorite build and what's your favorite fairy tale and also who is your favorite princess if it's not your favorite fairy tale because mine is Aurora but that's just because she's been mine since I was a kid so yeah I would love to hear what y'all's are that would be really cool but anyway if y'all like this island please hit like and subscribe turn on that little notification bell if you haven't already and yeah I'm very excited to our new island again. I hope that y'all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.